Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are discussing Nano Dimension Stock, also known as NNDM Stock. We will talk about how NNDM Stock can spike very soon, and how Nano Dimension plans to expand their operations. In a previous video, I mentioned how Nano Dimension's CEO will be exclusively interviewed on the Bloomberg Network in a TV program called The Red Chip Report, which airs in over 100 million households on Sunday nights at 6 p.m. nationwide in Europe. Well, today we will analyze one of the Nano Dimension exclusive interviews with the CEO, which explains why NNDM stock could be extremely valuable, why Nano Dimension's technology is revolutionary, the future acquisition and buyouts from other companies that NNDM will perform, and lastly, how they plan to increase revenues over time. Go and like this video right now if you hold NNDM stock. Comment down below when you think NNDM stock will really start to boom, and subscribe to my channel for more NNDM stock news updates. But first, let's make you some free money with Webull. Webull is a brokerage where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies easily. Right now, if you make an account with Webull, they will give you two free stocks, each worth anywhere from $2 to $250. And if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit, you will get two more free stocks, each valued from $8 to $1,600. You are basically guaranteed to make $20 or more if you cash out immediately, or you could luck out and receive up to $3,200. Not to mention that you also have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google, Procter & Gamble, or Heinz. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer ends soon. And with that being said, let's get into analyzing this Nano Dimension interview. The interview starts off with the interviewer saying how versatile Nano Dimension's technology is because of its many use cases in healthcare, defense, aerospace, EVs, automotives, computer hardware, and in academic institutions. The CEO of Nano Dimension then responds by saying that the reason for NNDM's cross-industry reach is because most of these companies rely heavily on either their own or other company's ability to manufacture, but Nano Dimension's Dragonfly printer is faster, greener, cheaper, and more efficient because it can inject two materials at once, which melt at 300 to 1000 degrees Celsius, and this is done in much less time because it is doing two steps at once, and this advantage is clearly seen in printed circuit boards. The great thing about Nano Dimension's technology is that it puts the customer in control of the manufacturing process of their own products. For example, a customer can make a three-dimensional model inside of a computer system and then upload the file to Nano Dimension's machine and it will produce a working 3D model with cutting-edge precision. Another reason why this NNDM technology is so disruptive is because defense companies can now create their own proprietary chips, circuit boards, and products in-house without having to give out secret blueprints to manufacturing companies. This explains why 50% of Nano Dimension's customers are in the defense industry, which is extremely lucrative. While the printed circuit board industry is worth around $70 billion, and still growing, and we also have to add that on top of the other industries that this technology could also disrupt. The Nano Dimension CEO then gives an analogy that explains why NNDM's technology is so revolutionary. He says that not too long ago, people would hand make flyers and then give it to a company that can replicate that handmade flyer and produce hundreds of copies. But then the ink paper printer came out and people can now make and print their own flyers at home. Nano Dimension is taking this idea to the extreme to keep customers privacy, it helps lower and cut costs because you don't have to pay a manufacturer, and it cuts down the time because you do not have to wait for shipping. Plus, Nano Dimension machines can run 24-7, mainly unattended. Even after Nano Dimension sells their 3D printers, NNDM then gets reoccurring revenues because the only way to get their special conductive 3D printing materials ink is if you buy it from them. It's very similar to having to buy the ink cartridges in a regular paper printer. 
All of this good news from this interview will reflect on NNDM stock very favorably. The CEO said that a customer actually compared the time it takes to make a complex PCB, which is an acronym for printed circuit boards, and when the defense customer went the traditional manufacturing route, it took the customer four months to receive their product. On the other hand, it only took Nano Dimensions printer 10 days to make the exact same part. An interesting statement came from the interviewer who says that the US military and the Israeli military are already using nano dimension printers, products, and services, which means that NNDM stock could skyrocket even more later down the line. The CEO also says that he plans on buying and acquiring companies that can complement Nano Dimensions technology to further their agenda. Specifically, NNDM will buy out multiple companies in the PCB space and in the 3D printing space. The Nano Dimension CEO also says that when NNDM hits their inflection point, they will start earning 10 times revenues compared to today's, which I anticipate will be in 3 to 4 years from now, which will radically increase increase the NNDM stock price. When the topic of competition came up, the CEO of Nano Dimension clearly stated that NNDM has competition. So in his other past statements, in which he said that Nano Dimension has no competition, I believe he means that Nano Dimension has no direct competition, but that they do have indirect competition in the PCB manufacturing space. The CEO himself is a mathematician with multiple degrees in engineering, and he was also in the Air Force, so when he gives out numbers about his company, I will believe them just based off of his credentials. So if he says that NNDM stock will surge, and that NNDM's revenue will be over $100 million in a couple of years, I am inclined to believe him, but I will stay skeptical. Overall, $100 million is not that much considering the markets that NNDM's technology is disrupting. Nano Dimension CEO does not invest into companies that he does not run or advise himself, so he literally puts his money where his mouth is. One of the best parts of the interview to me was when the CEO broke down Nano Dimension's four sources of revenue. The first source is selling the 3D printers. The second is selling the special ink materials cartridge that go with the printers and eventually run out so customers have to buy more later. Thirdly, whoever buys these machines also has to sign a technical support agreement where the buyers pay for the machine to be serviced yearly, which costs. And lastly, NNDM provides a service for companies who can't afford to buy their own machines outright, but Nano Dimension in that instance will just act as the manufacturer and will make the piece for the customer, then it will send it to them. I will analyze the other Nano Dimension interviews in another video. Comment crystal ball if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed and want more NNDM stock news, and I will see you all in the next YT video.